Good morning. Welcome to the, um, nope. Shut up. Good morning. Welcome back to the eBay shop. We're changing things up this morning. I'm Grams. And I'm Pops. And we buy and sell. We buy stuff well, locally. You're Teresa, and I'm Corey. <laughs> but I like Grams. <laughs> okay. Good morning. Welcome back to the eBay shop. I'm Teresa. And I'm Corey. And we are changing things up this morning. We are Grams and Pops Vintage. We buy stuff locally and sell it online. Actually, we buy stuff cheap. It's hard, isn't it? We buy stuff cheap locally <laughs> and we sell it online for a profit. And now back to Corey. All right, guys, Graham's let me back in the driver's seat. So today we're going to look at some of the things that sold. These are just Monday sales. I think we had nine sales for two, two, three hundred dollars, two fifty, two fifty one, right? Sure, two fifty one, and that's just sale price. Yep. So not counting shipping or fees or anything like that. Two hundred and fifty dollars in sales for nine items on a Monday. We'll take that every day of the week. I wish we could take that every day of the week, but it was a really good Monday. We decided to go ahead and record another video rather than wait till later in the week. And and we'll show you a few we'll show you a few of the things we're thinking of doing in the eBay shop some of the things we've been running into trouble with we're still growing and we're still new at the YouTube channel and we're still new to the eBay shop so we're doing some changing and we'll talk about some of that today but first let's go ahead and pull a few of these orders so the other day I listed a bunch of shoes and we sold the Nike Air Overplay 9 size 13 these guys here and Teresa's got them all clean, so she bagged them up just to keep them from getting scuffed or anything like that. Um, what do we got in those? Five dollars. And they sold for? Forty dollars. I took an offer. Okay, so forty bucks? Yep. Okay, what else we got? Up next is a box of 1988 football cards, the white box. It's another one of these guys. And these we have listed online for $150 a box, and mm -hmm. that one sold for what? $135. And we don't have any cost in these anymore. These are just profit at this point. All right, what else you got? Next we got pretties. We sold an owl with an owlette uh, rhinestone brooch. Let's see. So it's this little owl here, and it looks like it's an owl with a baby owl on it too. An owlette. Owlette? Outlet? Owlette? Owl. Okay. I will at. And that came out of our auction. Our estate sale. Our estate sale auction. Oh, and wait. No, I'm wrong. Oh, wait. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. That didn't. These came out of the jewelry box for the storage unit. Yes. So we got next to nothing in that and it sold for what? $13.75. And this is actually a good lead into one of the things we're having trouble with in the eBay shop that we actually had similar troubles early on. We talked about needing a laptop or a second computer because only one person could work at the workstation at a time. We're hitting a similar issue with our photo booth. Right now you can kind of see we've got this one photo booth and it looks like a big booth and it is, I think it's like five feet wide. But surprisingly, one person could take up a very large area of that booth and you really can't work with two people here at the same time, especially when you're moving around lights and trying to get rid of shadows. So we've decided we needed a second a second photo booth, like a, like a light box. If you watch any of the other YouTube channels, maybe Shed Flips, Lonnie and, and Candice used one similar. We ordered something like that that we're gonna set up on the table over here to my right so that both of us can list at the same time. That's something I think is gonna improve the speed and the amount of things that we can list because obviously we have a lot of listing work to do. He's just mad because I'm a photo booth. You said and then wow. <laughs> speaking of the photo booth that we ordered we ordered it off amazon one of the things we're finding as we as we move along in this journey doing the youtube side of this is is it takes a lot of time we spend probably as much time on the youtube channel as we do reselling wouldn't you say with editing and everything you do i, I do Teresa sits down and records the videos with me so she does put a significant amount of time in but i do the editing creating thumbnails things like that so it takes a lot of time to do this and we make exactly that much money zero dollars on youtube so when we when we go to do that booth i decided to go ahead and make an amazon affiliate link we're going to put some links below in this video and we have a link tree link down there too where you can see some of the products that we use like our printer our label things like that don't feel obligated to use those links but if you happen to be buying supplies and you want to use one of our links that's a very easy way to support us and it costs you nothing and it'll help us monetize a little bit of this youtube time and hours that we're putting out there so anybody that decides to use those thank you very much um what's our next poll um i think you had it listed as table tennis but i have a ping pong set by tatco that is this whole set here now, I know we got this forever ago, forever ago at a garage sale. Mm -hmm. And I know I listed it as one, like two paddles and a net, but there's actually two nets and a ball and two paddles. Like they're getting extra with this. The paddles themselves are vintage paddles, which is probably what sold it. 
but either way, it's really good to see this leave and what that yeah. sell for. We didn't do very good on it. Well, we did okay. We made money on it, but it was we paid five bucks for it and it sold for 16. And we have that on a 40% off sale just because we wanted to get rid of it. We're trying to clear space. Anything over like 150 days old, we've got on 40% off over this past weekend. All right, so what's the next one? Up next is a Barbie doll. It is 1987 California Midge. All right, there's Midge. It looks like her hair has been cut or something. She's pretty homely. She did. It did cut it. We. She's very homely. Yeah. So what did she sell for? Um, she sold for eight dollars and fifty cents. We're getting closer to that. That was a bulk buy that we bought, and we're yep. probably seventy-five percent paid off on it now. Yep. And there's a lot of Barbies and clothes left. I'm glad to get rid of the eight dollar homely midge doll. Some I haven't listed yet either because I don't know who they are. Department fifty six wrought iron gate and fence set. So here we are in that one here. Was it, we're in March now and Christmas is still selling. So if you've got Christmas stuff, don't sit around and wait to list it. Go ahead and get it listed because we've sold we at sell least a couple pieces a at week. At least one or two every week with our order. Yeah. So what'd that sell for? $8.25. There you go. And almost, and all of our Department 56 stuff that we have is in the green. Yeah, it's all black, paid for however at this you want to say. A rare Princess Cruise Line Mediterranean pin okay this is the second one of these that sold these were on these were part of our estate auction i don't know if you could see that or not i'll put a picture up too so you kind of see it confession time though no idea if that's rare we put rare in the title because there's actually not another one just like it listed anywhere not on terra peak not on ebay not on worth point we, we nope. couldn't find another one like it doubt it's actually rare but because there's no others out there that we can find anywhere we listed it as rare and both of them sold within two weeks i mean they three were weeks, gone pretty quick weeks. yep and that sold for what ten dollars and 75 cents so yeah hat. it's eight dollars more than we paid for the whole box with all the hats and pins in it. okay the next thing corey and i've had a conversation about we disagree on it but it is a wilton horseshoe slash rainbow cake pan all right guys i need your help on this one grams is wrong obviously which she often is actually that's probably not true, but let's take a peek. I need your support on this one. We got to tell Grams she's wrong. She's saying this is what? A horseshoe? It's a horseshoe or a rainbow. If you flip it upside down, it's a rainbow. If you flip it that way too, it's also a horseshoe. That's a toilet seat every day. That's not a toilet seat. This is a toilet seat. This is a toilet seat cake pan. I don't know how anybody sees this as anything other than a toilet seat. Anyways, that came out of our storage unit and we sold it for $11. Leave it in the comments. Tell Graham she's wrong and that is a toilet seat cake pan. Now, officially, we have sold the last G.I. Joe, which is the G.I. Joe Wetsuit 1986. All right, so that's that guy right there. And he is officially the last one. He sold and he's he's out of our out of our one, one goodwill, dollar. goodbye. <laughs> yeah, our one goodwill, <laughs> goodbye. We paid $1.75 for the whole bet. what he sell for? He sold for a dollar, or he sold for $8 and we only had like 13 cents in oh. him. And he's in good condition too. All right guys, so here's, here's the plan right now is to get We've got somebody coming today to look at these movies and possibly get rid of a lot of these movies that are on this table. And we're thinking about actually putting that light box like over there in the corner as a second photo booth. And once we get it here in a few days, we can kind of let you know, we'll get it set up, we'll let you know how it's working, we'll let you know if we like it. But we've seen other people, it comes fairly highly recommended. So I doubt we're gonna have any issues with it. We'll use it for most of the small stuff. Clothes and larger items obviously aren't gonna work in that but at least we can kind of divide and conquer while we're listing now and we won't be stepping on each other, fighting for lights and trying to get things figured out that way. So that's it for today. So we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista.